I complain to administration. So you you cannot partially treat people, and then uh, this is this is this is bad practice. It's it's doing harm. First, do no harm. Right. So uh, and we had conversation going, but nothing happened. More staff, I said. Could we reach out in the community? Could we even limit the service and turn people away so at least they know that they're not being treated? It's more honest, and maybe the media will get attention and we'll sure. get some help. Nothing. And eventually they, they really stopped talking to me, so I was functionally silenced, but they just kept booking them. Mm -hmm. And yeah. and I knew I knew I knew that the suicides were inevitable. I mean, and worse than if they hadn't been treated at all. Talking about suicides and and the psychology here, and and for a doctor to come out and tell that story, I mean, that's a big deal. What's happened here is once the report that goes nationwide, once you find systemic abuse in certain hospitals, then you can be sure there are hundreds, thousands of anecdotal cases of people who had to hide it or afraid they would be fired, or, or even worse, um, who have been holding it back, and now the floodgates open. The administration cannot hide. The president reported to be madder than hell, which I suppose an improvement over the secretary, Shinseki, who apparently was only mad as hell. Um, he is now even madder than hell. He acts as if, and this is the same with IRS, with the eavesdropping on the AP, with all these other scandals, with the uh, Obamacare launch, as if he stumbled upon the presidency and discovered all this horrible stuff is happening. He's in charge of these departments. At some point, you've got to ask, where has he been and where is the competence, the elementary competence he promised when he ran in 2008?